We've been talking about After Effects today, and here's an email from Carrie in Park City, Utah. She writes, we've just got blood test results back from my 40-year-old husband. He's been diagnosed with low testosterone. What does that mean, and what should we do? Well, we caught up with our favorite endocrinologist, Dr. Katja Van Hurley, to get an answer for Carrie. Carrie, a low libido in a 40-year-old man is unusual, but we have plenty of patients who do have that in the long run. The four major symptoms of low testosterone in a male are mood changes, loss of body mass, low libido, and loss of height. After a man has been diagnosed with low testosterone, what we know is we're lucky. We can replete it through oral medicine, injections, a patch, or skin gels. Our preference in my practice is to give a patch or the gel. And part of the reason we do that is it's probably safer for the liver, but also that we have very good absorption and it's very easy to take that way. Once a man is on testosterone repletion, they have to be followed to make sure that any of the potential side effects, especially to do with the blood counts or to do with the prostate, are in control. But ultimately, this is something that a man that has low testosterone should do. It'll change his life. And I'm glad we're talking about low testosterone because testosterone levels do tend to peak right around the age of 40. And if you're experiencing those symptoms, the only way you'll ever know is if you go get your blood level tested. And I also have to say that low testosterone does go hand in hand with certain other medical conditions, whether it's obesity, diabetes, even sometimes heart disease. And whether it's cause effect, no one really knows. But certainly for some men, it can be life changing if you're diagnosed with low testosterone mm -hmm. to get the supplements that Dr. Van Hurley was talking about. Because just like with women going through menopause, mm -hmm. it's somewhat different, but in men, they may need some testosterone replacement to change literally everything in their life, including their sex life. Right, because women go through menopause, just as you said, and that low testosterone, they're starting to cause, call that andropause for men. And really what happens is a lot of times it can actually affect the bone, just like um, estrogen affects the bone and osteoporosis for women. Men are actually at risk for osteoporosis as well. You know what I did this morning? <laughs> I took a daily dose of testosterone. I'm feeling pretty manly. You have to be careful, though, because they're still studying the long-term effects, sort of like they studied in the WHI studies with estrogen and hormone replacement with women. You have to look at huge studies to find out what the long-term effects are. And the reason I played that game right there is most men will think, well, the more the merrier, regardless of what my testosterone levels are, I want more of it. No. That can be dangerous. So if you have normal testosterone, you do not want to supplement. That's why you should work with an endocrinologist to make sure you're within the box in terms of your testosterone level.